Linux recover deleted files with test disk. Today we're going to learn how to recover deleted files that you may have deleted on a Linux system. Um, we're, we're going to be using, uh, we're, we're basically going to be using um, a USB drive with a FAT32 file system. I, I've actually had issues with this tool on an ext4 file system. I'm um, not sure if it's a limitation of the tool. It's supposed to support it. It looks like it supports it, but I'm only able to recover zero length files. Um, so your mileage may vary. Um, in this test, we're going to show recovering files off of a USB drive that has um, a FAT32 file system that you might share between different systems. And we're doing it from a Linux system. So that, that's what we're doing today. Um, don't assume because you see this demo working that any file you delete can be recovered because they may or may not be recoverable. But this should work across multiple different file systems. Um, any case, if you've lost files, th this might be a great solution to your problem. Um, one thing to keep in mind when you do recover files, it's usually best to recover the file to a separate disk than what the file was deleted from. Because once you delete a file, you're basically just removing the pointer to that file. And um, it basically, uh, the, the data is still there, just the pointer has been removed. So uh, it's the data is still going to stay there until it gets overwritten by something else. So if you write more data to that disk, you may overwrite your your files that were deleted so in order to prevent that just like if you accidentally delete a file just don't write anything to that disk until you recover those files and you should theoretically be okay so that's why you know if, if you recover the file don't recover it to the same disk because you might be overwriting the same thing that you're recovering so you, you would usually recover it to a different disk which is what we're doing in this case so we recover from the USB drive to the, the hard drive that's mounted in the system. All right, so let, let's see where our uh, directory is mounted. It's mounted on SDC1. So here we're creating a brand new file in this directory mounted on SDC1. And um, I'm just going to put a quick little description here. And um, we're, we're going to make sure this line that we're typing is actually in the file after we recover it to make sure it's a valid restoration of the file. Um, so the file is called myimportantdata.txt and um, I have one other file in that same directory. Now here we remove that file. We run rm on the file and verify that it is in fact gone. It's pretty much, it's not in the trash, it just doesn't exist anymore. Or it's, it's unlinked, so we, we can't access it um, unless we use a file recovery tool. So yeah, it, it's, it's basically gone. Now this is the directory where we're going to recover the file. Note that this, this directory is empty right now, and after we run the file recovery tool, our file will be placed in this directory and will be intact. Note that it's on SDB2, That's uh, and the, the disk we're recovering from is SDC1. So they're, they're different um, partitions on different disks. Now we run test disk and say create, hit enter a couple times to actually get it to register, select SDC, that's the disk we're recovering from, um, and the, the uh, partition type is there by default, we hit advanced, um, and here we're going to just select on delete from the bottom, and we see three files that we could, we could actually restore, and um, one of them is just a swap file from editing, I don't even know why it has that funny name, um, and the other one is just a, a backup file. So in any case, hit C to back it up, and then here we have to select the directory where we're actually going to want to restore it to. So we're going to restore it to our hard drive, to my home directory on the hard drive, which we were look, just looking at a little, a little while ago. So jump into my home user one directory, and um, these are actually not sorted in alphabetical order. So um, yeah, you, you, you can see um, I'm actually recording the audio for this after having recorded the, the video. But um, yeah, you, you, you can see me scrolling around here looking for the, the, the correct directory. <laughs> and there it is. There's the recovered data directory. Um, once we've selected it, hit C, and it says and you see in green text it says copy done it's telling us that it was successful so um, 
we're, we're gonna just check uh, check in our um, directory we deleted it from and nothing's there and, and we check in the recover data directory and we see our file is there so we're gonna verify it and boom we catted out the file it says this is my important data that I want to keep looks like we were able to restore the data not just a zero length file which sometimes occurs um, in some of my other testing I was only able to recover a zero length file so your mileage may vary, um, but in this case we were able to successfully recover it.